All right, looking at our next example, uh, this one is a little bit different than the last two, and the reason this one is is because right now we have a leading coefficient of 1. And what I'm basically trying to show you guys is that this method that I've been teaching you, turning a three-term polynomial into four-term polynomial and factor by grouping, it works for everything. The next method that we're going to learn doesn't work for everything, but still works for some things. In fact, it's a little bit easier uh, sometimes, or not easier, quicker. Quicker is a better word. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do, again, we're going to multiply our quadratic and our constant, the highest degree term, oh man, and the lowest degree term together. When we do that, we get negative 18x squared, and we want to find numbers that will multiply to give me that. It will have to give me a positive 3x. We're either looking for sum or difference. We know it's sum or difference. If uh, the two terms have the same sign, we're looking for their sum. If they have different signs, we're looking for their difference. Because the product is negative, we're actually looking for the difference of the two factors. So we want the, two, uh, the difference of the two factors of uh, 18 to be 3. So we can say uh, 1x and 18x, 2x and 9x, uh, 3x and 6x. Okay. Uh, those are all the factor pairs for 18. And uh, the two that have a difference of 3 are 3 and 6. Uh, because this is a negative number, we know they have different signs. Because this is positive, that means the higher number has to have the same sign. So there you go. Those are the two, three, two numbers we're going to use. So negative 3x and a positive 6x. And we'll bring down our quadratic and our constant. And now we're going to factor by grouping. First two and the last two we're going to group together. Out of each, we're going to factor out the common factor in the hopes of getting the same binomial. The common factor here, uh, they'll make it look like that. We factor it out to positive 6. You get x minus 3. And then uh, that's not our answer because it's not a binomial times a binomial. We're going to factor out the common factor of x minus 3 and group together the x plus 6. We can always check our answer. This times this is this. 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 You put those two together and you get your original problem. All right, so our answer, x minus 3 times x plus 6.